and welcome to the first National Bank Housing Fair Day 2 with me, Jerry Ajololo. We're excited that you joined us for the biggest conversation on housing in Ghana. As always, we encourage you to like, comment and share. Why don't we delve into the second day and find out what it has to offer? I'll see you shortly. Hello everyone, my name is Dominic Kadu, the CEO of First National Bank Ghana. I'm really excited to participate and to invite you indeed to participate in the very first virtual housing fair that we're hosting. This is going to be an opportunity for us to introduce to you market-leading competitive products uh, and enhanced indeed for everyone, irrespective of the type of product they need in terms of the housing space, whether it is buying to let, whether it's the first time by buying land or construction. We are going to work with you and understand what your needs are and travel with you on this very long journey for you to have your financial independence and move into your dream home. I'll take this opportunity to thank you for participating in this and to introduce to you my colleague Kujo Adukufo, who heads our home finance business. He's going to take you through this journey, this virtual housing fair, and we hope that you have a fantastic opportunity to learn about our business. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dom. At First National Bank, we have the complete suite of home loans products to meet your needs. So whether you're salaried or self-employed, whether you're looking for a first-time buyer, an equity release or land purchase mortgage, we have just the right product for you. Since 2008, housing fairs have been an integral part of our annual calendar. So twice a year, we've invited leading estate developers to interact with prospective home buyers on our premises. They've been very lively events, and a lot of transactions have been done at these events. Homeowners or people looking to buy homes have met with developers and gotten a chance to see what products are on offer. But this year, in response to COVID-19 and the need to social distance, and also because many, many, many more people who'd like to attend these events are unable to do so because of other engagements they have on the weekends that the fairs are engaged, we are making the whole event virtual. So for the first time, the housing fair is going to be a virtual event, which means you can watch from the comfort of your own home. You can watch it as often as you want. You can play back if you need to. And you can also take a virtual tour of the sites where the developers are putting up some of the most wonderful real estates we have in the land today. We hope this makes your journey to home ownership even more enjoyable. And trust that when the time comes to take a home loan, you will come to First National Bank. So sit back and relax and enjoy the First National Bank Virtual Housing Fair. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Kujo. Hi, everyone. I'm Marina Fisu with the Home Loans Business Development Unit. I'm here to tell you about the exciting range of products we have here at First National Bank that caters to the needs of everyone. We have a home purchase facility that assists individuals or couples to buy their first home, assist individuals who already own properties and want to buy another one for rental purposes, and assist individuals by giving them a 100% mortgage to acquire the property. We have a land purchase facility to assist you in acquiring that dream plot of land. We have a construction mortgages that you can either take to complete a building you have started or to build from scratch on your own plot of land. We have another exciting product we call Safe to Own. This is specifically designed for people in the informal sector and those who are self-employed. These normally find it difficult to prove a source of income as required for most mortgages. We give you the opportunity to save with us for 18 to 24 months with an amount that will be equivalent to something you would usually pay for a mortgage. Once you're able to pay this comfortably for this 18 to 24 month period, we give you a mortgage. Finally, we have a refinance mortgage. Are you unhappy with your bank? run to First National Bank. We have many more exciting things coming up in today's edition of a virtual housing fair. Stay glued to your seats. Hi, 
Hi, welcome to Bijou Homes. Are you wondering what makes Bijou Homes worthwhile? Could it be the expandable nature of our units? The chance to be a part of a growing community? The competitive prices of our units? Or the many amenities it comes with? Join me, let me show you what Bijou Homes has to offer. Let's go. Located along the Adento OEB Road, Bijou Homes is a five-minute drive from Valley View University. We offer patrons access to all amenities within Apollonia City. Schools, supermarkets, business centers, hospitals, and so much more. We have the Opal and Barrel, one bedroom expandable to two and three respectively, the Alexandra, two bedroom terrace, and the Jade, two bedroom expandable to three. Our prices range from $50,000 US dollars to $75,000 US dollars, making it the best deal for any pocket. We offer discounts to customers who make an outright payment for their desired property. Are you ready to move into a Bijou home today? Call First National Bank Ghana and they will help you secure a home loan if you cannot pay outright. Thank you. This is TDC Development Company Limited, currently working on the affordable housing project located at Community 26 Bone of the Tema Aflawo Highway. 25 minutes drive from Accra and adjacent to the Kwon Day Secondary School. The property consists of two bedroom apartments, two types of one bedroom apartments and studio apartments. The two bedroom apartment has an 80 meter square area and comes with two bedrooms, a kitchen and store, a utility area, a dining and a toilet and bath that is shared by the two bedrooms. This comes at a price tag of $28,000, CD equivalent at the time of payment. The first type of one bedroom apartment has a 60 meter square area and comes with a bedroom, a kitchen and store, a toilet and bath at a price tag of $24,000, CD equivalent at the time of payment. The second one-bedroom apartment has a 43-meter square area and comes with a bedroom, a hall, a kitchen, a utility area, and a bathroom at a price tag of $17,000, CD equivalent at the time of payment. The studio apartment has a 30-square-meter and goes for $8,000, CD equivalent at the time of payment. The property comes with an 80-meter cube water reservoir for each block, a biodigester, and a pump that will pump water into the building in the event of water shortage.
When the project is completed, we are aiming to have amenities such as hospital, police station, junior and senior high schools, a lorry station, shops and offices. We have flexible payment terms for all our properties. You are welcome to the Recreational Center of Sole Lagoon View Estate, a development of Emerald Properties. Sole Lagoon View Estate is located on your way to Pram Pram, just after the Ganaman Soccer Academy, after you take the left turn on the Accra Aflawo Road. At Sole Lagoon View Estate, you have your typical swimming pool, tennis court, recreational area and facilities, football park, all available with various communities coming around to have a number of competitive programs and there's a lot of fun here. You will have to join in. We also have a lot of housing products such as the one bedroom expandable to three and then the service plot in our history. We currently have a fully gated security uh, estate with the needed estate management also running. At Solid Lagoon View Estate, you are sure to get at least a 20% discount if you are to pay cash for the land, which is starting from $11,500 or a 5% discount on the houses which start from $39,900 which is about $40,000. Uh, for more information on how to purchase these houses, you can talk to our mortgage partners, First National Bank for support and they will help you as such. Estate Developers Limited. Cedars has been into business for over 15 years, providing houses for the elite, the middle income earners, and the low income earners. And this Christmas, we have an amazing offer for our customers. You pay for a two bedroom house at $39,000 and you move into a three bedroom house. Is that not amazing? Our one bedroom and three bedrooms is located at East Lugard Hills, Santo few minutes drive from the British International School. The one bedroom starts at $21,000, the three bedrooms are $39,000. All our bedrooms are in suit, they come with their washrooms, bagla proof windows, AC points, water heater points, LED lights in all rooms, ceiling fans in all rooms, and POP ceiling in all rooms. By March 2021, the first phase of 48 houses will be ready for sale. And other amenities are water, electricity and a recreational center for the kids. If you are interested in any of our properties, contact National Bank for an amazing mortgage offer. Thank you. Welcome to Blue City Estates. Blue City Estates is located at Kaswa Budumbram, five minutes away from the Golden Gate Hotel. Um, our unique selling point is that we offer quality properties at a very affordable price. We are currently at our second phase called the Blue Gardens and I'd like to take you on a tour of our two bedrooms and detached. At Blue Rose, we are developing a community of about 2,000 houses. Because of this, 
we've provided you with a police station, two schools, a clinic, we have a recreational center where kids could play, and we also uh, are developing a gym center and many more. At Blue Rose, we have houses ranging from 100,000 to 433,000. Our one bedroom property is going for 100,000 CDs. Our two bedroom, semi detached, goes for 207,000. And the terrace goes for 144,000. For our two bedroom detached house, it goes for 324,000 Ghana CDs. Our three bedroom also has a semi detached and detached. With the semi detached going for 324,000 and the detached going for 378,000. Our four bedroom house goes for 432,000 Ghana cities. If you are looking to be a resident of the Blue Rose community and you don't have all the money to finance your property, we can introduce you to agents from First National Bank and it can help you afford our properties. Thank you. Let's start talking. First of all, we need to know the property price. Based on that, we will come up with an illustration to let you know how much you qualify for and what income you need to qualify for that loan amount. After you are okay with the details on the illustration, an email will be sent to you to confirm our conversation. Once you are okay with that, we will start following up for documents that will be required to start the process. The documents required include, but not limited to, one color passport, one ID, one utility bill, three months most recent pay slips, three months most recent bank statement, an offer letter from your vendor, and credit report. If you're ready with all these documents, just give us a call or come to any of our 11 branches across the country and we'll be ready to walk you through the process. Regina, can you walk us through the process? Thank you very much, Adam. So the application process starts with the borrower completing and submitting the home loans application form together with the document as mentioned by Adam. Once that has been done, First National Bank is going to acknowledge your application within 72 hours by issuing you what we call a letter of intent. Basically, that letter states our intention to grant you the loan amount you've requested for, provided you meet the conditions as stated in there. The borrower needs to acknowledge receipt of that letter by signing and retaining a copy to First National Bank. With the receipt of the letter of intent, the next stage in the application process is for us to do the actual credit assessment. Once the credit assessment has been done, if the application is accepted, we come back to the borrower by way of a facility letter. If it is not accepted and it's a declination, then a decline letter is sent. So in the event that the application is accepted, we come back to the borrower with a facility letter, which is our actual offer. The facility letter basically states the terms and conditions of the offer that we are giving the borrower. The borrower, if he's comfortable or she is comfortable, accepts the facility letter by signing and retaining a copy to us and then paying all the transaction fees that is associated with the loan. Once we've received the signed facility letter with the cost of the facility paid, we start the various due diligence processes that we need to undertake. This includes valuation, survey, other searches that we need to conduct at the Lands Commission. Once we've done all these, the next step is for us to schedule what we call the closing ceremony. Basically what this entails is that the mortgage agreement or the underlining agreement is going to be prepared. Then a date is going to be scheduled for the borrower to come in with a witness to sign the mortgage agreement. Once they come in and sign the mortgage agreement and they have met all the pre disbursement conditions, the next stage is to ensure that a closing is done and then the loan is disbursed to either the developer or the private vendor that you are buying from. This brings an end to the application process. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome to the Rosa from Tigris World Limited. We bring to you a luxury four-bedroom suite located in Adenta Frafraha, 400 meters from the engine station on the Adenta Ashiye Highway. Our ceiling gives each room the best of light and warmth that compares to no other. 
Each four bedroom suite also comes with a maid suit, additional storage, ample parking, and one of a kind built in appliances for graphics insertion, electricity, water supply, and underground drainage systems. It gets even better with the highly constructed executive finished homes, the direct access to the highway, 24-7 security, a play and service area and a freehold options on the land available. You are definitely getting value for your money. For the first four buyers, we have an amazing deal for you. With a starting price of $150,000, you can own the home of your dreams. Make sure you speak to a First National Bank agent to get you started. Hi, welcome to Lakeside Estate, located at Ashalibotre, within a gated community. This is our two-bedroom deluxe house on a 60 by 80 feet plot of land. It has security cameras, it has water heaters, it has solar panels, it has a kitchen with a storeroom, all rooms and suites with a visitor's washroom. It has a dining area and then it has a spacious living room. So you can contact First National Bank for special home loan offers just for you. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Greater Accra's newest city, Apollonia City. Here, we have a variety of products to suit different people. This is our first gated community, the Oxford. Here, we have homes from two-bedroom semi-detached to four-bedroom townhouse. They come with 24-hour security, tarred road, water, and electricity. Our homes range from 513,000 CDs to 1,032,500 CDs. We also have our service plot enclave called the Nova Ridge. We have fully service plot in gated communities from 50 by 80 to the traditional 80 by 100. These plots are from 185,000 CDs to 382,000 CDs. You could speak to our partners, First National Bank, for a mortgage that suits you. We're located between Afenia and Oibi, 20 minutes drive from Adenta.
You're welcome home. This is Eden Heights, developed by West Hills Ridge Limited. Here, comfort, style, and elegance come together to make your dream home a reality. We are located right behind the West Hills Mall, Weja, Accra. Come on back. At Eden Heights, your comfort is of utmost importance to us. We therefore make sure that all the basic amenities are provided for. Four seven security and intercom services. There's the dedicated water and electricity supply, underground drainage system and wiring as well. We also have the biggest sports center you can think of with state-of-the-art sports activities and facilities. There's the swimming pool, the clubhouse, there's a gym, there's a shopping center, the tennis court, the basketball court, and all the amenities to make life worth living. We have available one to four bedroom apartments and penthouses starting at only $86,000. Interesting, right? Reserve an apartment with us today with just a minimum deposit of 25,000 Ghana cities or more. Want a mortgage? Speak to our partners, First National Bank Ghana, for all your mortgage needs. Come to us here at Eden Heights. We're giving luxury a new destination.
Hello and welcome to Integral Gated Homes. We own the hassle-free home ownership experience. We are located right in Abokobi, right behind the Ga'is Municipal Assembly and some 18 kilometers away from Kodoka International Airport and Ibri Hills on the other side of it. It's gated and secured with electric fencing with a dedicated transformer for the community's needs. Come and see how integral living looks like. Come with me. Be it a two, three, or four bedroom home, we have one for your pocket. Our homes range from as low as $65,000 to $120,000. Currently in the works are an adult and kiddie pool, a gym, and an event center to make living easier for residents. Here's the deal. A 5% discount awaits anybody who calls us by December 2020. So please, call a First National Bank representative and we'll both get you sorted out right away. Thank you. Welcome to a new way of living with Mobus Properties Ghana. We are the developers of Richfield Lifestyle Estates and Park Apartments. Richfield Lifestyle Estates, located at East Legon Hills, close to the British International School, offers affordable living with our flats, semi-detached and detached homes. The Park Apartments also offers 48 units of space and luxury in prestigious cantonments. Our homes not only come with comfort and luxury, but a host of amenities such as open space sitting and a children's playground, a convenient shop, swimming pool, backup power supply, cafe, an entertainment center and a rooftop lounge.
The Richfield units start from $75,000, with the park apartment starting from $89,250. We are ever ready to provide you that dream home. You can also contact our partners, First National Bank, for a mortgage that works for you. Thank you. This year marks Clifton Homes' 10-year anniversary. It's been a decade of rapid growth in which we have become Accra's largest residential real estate developer. We have delivered seven projects in that period, each one on schedule and each one encompassing our market-leading combination of price, location and quality. This sound track record of delivering on our client commitments has resulted in exceptional rates in client recommendations and repeat purchases. In an often turbulent marketplace, our customers invest with confidence, knowing we will deliver. Our proposition is well described by our phrase, beautiful homes, wise investments. Our stylish designs, high quality interior finishing and first class well-being facilities can be seen firsthand in our previous development. Clifton Homes offers market-leading prices in the capital's most prestigious neighbourhoods with prices well below the local average. Our competitive price points help customers optimise their capital and reduce investment risk, insulating them from market fluctuations. For our buy-to-let investors, the combination of low capital outlay and prime location with high rental demand drives excellent rental yields. Another reason our customers choose Clifton Homes is our integrated model. We design, develop, construct and market our properties, then manage them post-occupancy. During the construction process, this gives us optimal control over timelines and quality and has been essential to us delivering every project on schedule. Then, by handling the facilities management within the Clifton Group after completion, we maintain oversight of the long-term quality of the development. This means our interests are intrinsically linked to those of our clients for the long term, not just up until the point of handover or the point of sale. We also offer a lettings and property management service to our buyers who choose to rent out their properties. The result is that we have long-term relationships with our customers built on trust, openness and integrity. Our most recent development, Embassy Gardens, demonstrates many of the principles I've discussed so far. It is located in Cantonment, just 500 metres from the US Embassy, in one of Accra's most prestigious neighbourhoods. Yet, prices start from $88,950 for a suite. The development's Garden Square design offers an acre of communal gardens and pools and embodies our design principle of promoting urban well-being. So too does the expansive wellness complex comprising gym, yoga studio and cafe. These facilities create a tranquil, leafy environment promoting calm and well-being and importantly a car-free residential space with all parking contained in the spacious underground car park with direct access to apartments. 24-hour security and backup utilities are included of course and our concierge based at the reception is on hand to assist our residents with all inquiries. Embassy Gardens is completing this month and whilst the majority of the development is now sold out, we have a limited number of Phase D units remaining for sale. This includes studios from $88,950. Apartments from $156,950, dual level duplexes from $155,950. Clifton Homes' eighth project is currently on sale and under construction. The Lennox in Airport Residential is located on Patrice Lumumba Road in the city's most exclusive neighbourhood. Close to the airport, the city's best commercial venues and some of the best restaurants in Accra. The location has understandably become home to some of the most expensive real estate in the city. However, this sleek modern build offers excellent value in such a prime area with prices starting from just $77,950. Comprising of communal gardens, full-scale gym, yoga studio and cafe, the enviable communal facilities are topped off by a stunning rooftop pool and terrace. 
offering skyline views across the city. The top floor duplexes are already fully sold out, but a number of suites remain from just $79,000 and one, two and three bed apartments from $129,950. The Lennox offers the best customer proposition in airport, an excellent high demand location, stylish properties, superb communal facilities and all at a market beating price. Please give us a call today and receive remaining availability and purchase plan options. We believe our track record speaks for itself and thus are always happy to meet personally or conduct on development viewings with potential clients. We hope to meet with you soon. Hi, I'm Christiana Kudo with the credit team. Ever wondered how your home loan application gets approved? I am here to give you the details. As a bank, one of our major activities is advancing loans. And the biggest risk with loan advancement is credit risk. When we talk about credit risks, we are saying the risk of the borrower not keeping to the terms of the loan. And that means paying on time but you know not the full amount or not paying on time or not making repayment at all we are going to look at um, a brief overview of the home loan process first we have the first engagement the customer has with us then it goes to origination now the origination team allows the borrower or the applicant to fill all the forms and then attach all the necessary um, supporting documents then from there it comes to us which is the credit team we do the loan assessment then we recommend either for approval or for decline after that we put the conditions precedent in your facility letter the facility letter is the offer we make to you from there it moves to the mortgage origination team who together with the legal team draw up all the legal paperwork and after you meet all your conditions precedent it is moved to the central processing unit and then the credit admin team who disperse the facility. From there, we, do our, we commence our post disbursement activities. As a credit team, our main aim is to mitigate or minimize the credit risk. And with this, we utilize the five C's of credit mitigation. They are capacity, credit, collateral, capital, and character. We take them one by one. When we say capacity, we are looking at how much you earn, the type of employment you are in. Say, are you a salaried worker or you are self-employed? We are looking at how long you've been in your employment. We are also looking at the consistency of your income. Okay, it's not, um, so someone who gets a monthly income has a more consistent income than, say, an Uber driver, for example, who gets different amounts daily. Then we come to credit. What helps us to analyze your credit is um, the reports that we get from our credit bureaus. So we look at um, the credit you've taken in the past, uh, how much you rely on credit in your day-to-day -day activities uh, and all that. Then we come to collateral. Uh, when it comes to home loans, the collateral is the subject property. So we are looking at the location. We know that when it comes to real estate, it's location, location, location. Some locations are prime, some not so much. So we consider that in assessing your risk. Also, we look at the price versus the value um, of the property. And then we also look at the state of the property. Some properties are newly built and the structural uh, integrity is so sound and all that. Then we come to capital. When we come to capital, we are looking at how much the borrower is willing to put into the deal. So we take a loan amount of, say, $100,000. Now, two applicants will be asking for $100,000. One will be willing to put down $50,000, and so he's asking for a loan amount of $50,000. That person has a different risk factor than somebody who is putting down, say, $30,000 and it's coming for a loan amount of $70,000. With capital as well, we are looking at the source of the payment of the, um, the down payment. So if the source is your savings, you can tell us maybe you liquidate investment or you're going for another loan. 
all these factors affect your risk assessment. Then we come to character. The fifth C, which is character, is sometimes subjective, but it is quite important because we, we have some um, applicants who do have the money, but then they refuse to pay, and they are not safe to lend to. So we try and make a determination as the character of the borrower. If they borrow from us, will they be able to pay, or are they willing to pay? So with character, we look at your willingness to pay. What also helps us in this case is we look at your past performance. So maybe you, uh, you had some delinquencies, as stated in your credit bureau and then we ask you and you tell us oh uh, maybe your relationship officer did something that angered you for which reason you didn't even pay your loan and that is a red flag for us so that is what we look at under the risk mitigation the five c's of risk mitigation now i'm taking you through some of the reasons for which we have to say no to a home loan application the first one is ownership issues when we cannot establish that the one selling the property to you is the true owner of it, we would have to say no. And in cases such as equity release where the borrower is supposed to be the owner, if they cannot prove their ownership of the property, then we would have to say no. The second reason we usually say no to a home loan application is that the unexpired lease term is too short. Now. We look at a minimum of 25 years of unexpired lease term. So anything below 25 years, you need to go back to the headless saw and extend your lease term. Then you come back and reapply. Then we'll consider the application. The next reason why we we'll would say no to a home loan request is the state of the collateral. Maybe it's in the best neighborhood in town, but the property is dilapidated. And we can't accept that uh, as our collateral. So in such cases, we would also have to say no. The next reason we usually say no is concerning income. That is poor record keeping. This usually applies to those who are self-employed. Some people do earn a lot, but they don't keep proper records. They don't have, their bank accounts are not reflecting the kind of turnover they make and all that. So we can't assess how much they actually make or how much they say they make, they cannot prove it with um, independent sources such as their bank statement. So if you are a business owner, you keep poor records, we would have to say, uh, it's likely we would have to say no because we'll not be able to know the real, your real income. Then the next is insufficient income. This usually applies to salaried workers. Now, if you ask for a huge loan amount, then you know that you really have to earn a lot. And if you don't have that sort of income, to support your loan request, then we'll have to offer you a lower loan amount than you requested for, or sometimes you have to say no. Related to this is high debts. Some people do have huge income, that is a high monthly income, but they also have high debt, for which reason they, they may not be able to take on much more debt. Okay, so in such cases, either we'll give you, offer you a lower loan amount, or then we have to say, no. The next reason we say no is adverse credit history. Some people have taken loans elsewhere, they've not paid, they've left it to go bad and all that and we don't want a repeat of that. So if you have adverse credit history, you've done nothing about it, you come to us, we cannot put ourselves into that situation as well. So we'd have to say wait till you clear it or would say no if we find out that um, you don't have a good reason for that adverse credit history. This brings us to the end of all you need to know about the credit process. I hope you are enjoying the housing fair so far. Stay tuned for more. Hi, I'm Kwame. I'm going to talk to you about what to look out for when you are buying land in Ghana. In Ghana, if you decide to buy land, you should ensure that the property you are buying is litigation free. How do you know that? You would have to ensure that the person you are buying the property from has the legitimate ownership to the interest the person is claiming. Often, we talk about interest in land and the things we refer to when we say interest are basically the bundle of rights the person who is claiming ownership has. 
This could be freehold, which means that the person has a perpetual ownership to the land. It could also be a leasehold interest, which means that the person has the land for a period, say 99 years or 50 years, and after that, the land reverts back to whoever sold the property to that person. Now, if you are buying land from someone who says, I have a leasehold of 50 years, then the documentation the person has must prove that he actually has 50 years. If it is a family land you are buying, then that does not have the constitutional restrictions with respect to the term of the leasehold. It could actually be a freehold. Of course, there is a new land bill, which when assented by the president becomes law. And that is going to treat family lands similar to how it treats school lands. And so you are going to have restrictions on the term of the leasehold, which will mean that you can no longer have a freehold interest transferred to you when you are buying a family land. When it's a state land, we also refer to them as public lands. They are lands that are owned by government and are managed by the Lands Commission for and on behalf of the state. These lands are also sold only by the Lands Commission or through the Lands Commission. We have some few exceptions that are Tema Development Corporation lands. Now they are called TDC Company Limited. So there are lands you can buy through TDC, but you still have to go through the Lands Commission for your registration purposes. And the lands that are also owned by the State Housing Company Limited. When you buy such lands, you also have to go through the Lands Commission to get them registered. Essentially, all that we are saying is, to buy land, you must ensure that the document you are buying refers to the exact interest you are negotiating and you also know that based on the ownership type of the land, you are able to acquire that interest you are buying. Also, one of the things you have to pay attention to when you are buying land is the neighborhood. Does the neighborhood flood? Is there security in the neighborhood? Do you have landslides and earthquake issues? These are all things that you would have to ensure that you have paid attention to and you have researched into it before you buy land. To determine that the document you have is valid and the interest that is being transferred to you, it's also the right interest owned by the vendor you would have to conduct a search at the Lands Commission. This search will reveal to you the history on the land. It will tell you whether or not the person you are buying the property from has registered his or her interest, and whether or not the interest is claiming correspond to what is in their records. If there is no recorded transaction, it does not mean the person does not own the property. You would just have to ensure that you delve deeper into getting further information. You can contact neighbors to find out who owns the property. You can also contact places like the district assembly to see who pays property rate on that property. You can go to the extent of even going to the ECG or Ghana Water Company to find out who has been paying those utility bills or to confirm the ownership of that property. When you have satisfied yourself with the documents that have been provided to you, the next thing you need to check is to ensure that the neighborhood is fit for purpose. If you are buying to live in the property as your residential home, then you are looking at ensuring that the place is not flood prone area. Or the place is not an earthquake prone area. The land is solid enough 
such that you will not have landslides in the future. You are not close to any hazardous um, or chemicals that are being emitted from any industries around you. You are going to get good and potable water and all the various amenities you need to enjoy your property are provided. So that is the neighborhood characteristics that you have to look out for. Also, it will be proper to know the value of the property you are buying before you put money on the table. To know that you need to commission a valuer, a qualified valuer, to assess the value of the property so that if you are negotiating, you are well informed about how much the property is passing in the market and what you would also put on the table for that property. These are the major things you need to look out for when you are buying land in Ghana. To add to the advice I've already given, when you are buying a land that is state land, ensure that whoever is selling to you has the consent of the state. Consent is just a letter, usually one pager, issued by the state institution, mainly Lands Commission, or if it's Tema, then you are talking about TDC, to say that they have agreed for the property to be transferred to you. Without this consent, you cannot register the property. And if the property is not registered, you cannot use it for any financial transaction, such as acquiring a mortgage. Also, the land or the property you purchase is of financial value. And so you shouldn't just buy the property with the aim of going to live in it, but also with the aim that in future you can release equity from the property by applying for a mortgage on the property or selling it to someone who will be buying with a mortgage. And we would have to go through all these steps I've given you when you are transacting on the property, especially when it involves a financial institution. Doing proper due diligence on a property before you buy will save you from fraudulent transactions and will guarantee your ownership. It is always important that you have gone through these steps I've given you adequately with the help of professionals to ensure that you've left no stone unturned. Don't be rushed by the vendors in buying properties because usually when the deal is too juicy, you need to be very careful. This year's housing fair is loaded with a lot of information you cannot miss. Stay tuned and enjoy. Thank you. Welcome to Pinecore Apartments by Whitewall Properties. Let's take a look inside. Welcome to the future of housing and incredible homes. This is Arlington Court. Located at East Legon, a few meters away from the farmer's market, we are the best decision you can make this year. And let me tell you why. Our one, two and three bedroom apartment units are the perfect asset for the highly motivated entrepreneur who is ready to change the world.
Be it business or pleasure, everything is better over a couple of drinks at the rooftop bar or a swim in the infinity pool. Our units start from just $120,000. Still not convinced? Well, I'm sure you will be after this. Each of our communities come with a gym, a lift, and modern fixtures in each home. To top it off, we have an incredible $10,000 discount awaiting all new buyers who secure by December. Amazing, right? So what are you waiting for? Contact our partners, First National Bank, for financing options through home loans. Everybody. My name is Priscilla Jamefi, Head of Sales and Marketing for Square Mile Homes. Welcome to Arabesque Court. Arabesque Court is a four-bedroom detached townhouse located at East Legon Hills. It comes with three living areas, an open kitchen with an outdoor kitchen as well, and we have a maze cottage available, two box rooms that can be used as a study room, and the icing on the cake, guess what, is the rooftop. is going for 250,000 US dollars. And guess what, from now to the end of January 2021, we're giving you a 5% discount on these houses. Call First National Bank for a good mortgage plan. For us at Swami India Ghana Limited, owning a home in Paradise Estate means a home that you can call your own means giving you a three or four bedroom luxury home that is coming with great finishing, on time delivery, and uniquely built designs. What else will you ask for but a home that suits your style? A home that will make you always want to be home. Paradise Estate is not just a community full of houses. Paradise Estate actually comes with amazing amenities. Talk about a kid's playground, the gym, the cafeteria, the sports center, the gaming zone, the pool, and your lounge. All these are needed to make your living in Paradise Estate a paradise. With a starting price of $160,000, each home in Paradise Estate comes with a featured kitchen, two water storage systems, and ample space for parking. What more would you want but value for money? We are very flexible with our client. Now, how much we can give you on discount? 10%. We know you want that whenever you're ready. And most importantly, your security, 24-7, you've got your cover too. Are you enjoying your luxury? You've got a smile. Now let me talk to you real quick. Do you want to purchase a house through mortgage? First National Bank, got you covered. All you have to do is to call their service center. They'll get your mortgage agent, and then you are a homeowner. Once again, welcome to Paradise Estate. Welcome to Mayfair Gardens, one of the most prestigious estates in Accra.
Mayfair Gardens is located right behind Bema Camp and it's just about 10 minutes away from the Kotoka International Airport. It's also 10 minutes away from everything. Cantonment is just uh, 8 minutes away. Osu is just about 12 minutes away. Uh, Mayfair Gardens is made up of about 160 homes. The minimum bedroom we do is three bedrooms. So we've got three, four, five, and six bedrooms. All the houses are detached. And we are, we've completed phase one, phase two, phase three, and we are left with phase four. Uh, phase four is made up of some very nice, beautiful townhouses, which we've, we've started. Mayfair Estates is a gated community with 24 hours security. We have good roads, we have street lights, uh, we have gym, uh, a clubhouse, children's play area, and also um, uh, shops around. This is a typical four bedroom house or a four bedroom bungalow with two bedroom boys' quarters. A house like this in Mayfair will cost you about half a million US dollars. Uh, prices start from 400,000 US dollars to about a million US dollars. We usually accept 30% as down payment and then the balance after completion. This is a typical house that is a five bedroom house with one bedroom boys quarters. This house is about 700,000 US dollars. Um, if you want a mortgage, you can go to First National Bank and they'll be able to help you. They're always ready to provide you with a mortgage. Thank you. The Home Loans Client Service team manages the client experience from the day the loan is disbursed until the loan is paid off. So we ensure that our home loan clients are adequately informed of their obligations in terms of repayment, repayment due date, repayment amount, etc. We also ensure that their concerns, their requests, their complaints are handled promptly to ensure total customer satisfaction. So after the loans are disbursed, we send them letters to congratulate them and also to introduce the team as their relationship managers. We also offer advisory services such as advising them on their repayment amounts and the repayment modes. For example, you can make your repayment through checks, by cash, bank transfers, mobile money. We also advise them to make advance payments that prevents them from walking into the bank every month. We offer them services such as monthly statements, 
monthly repayments, insurance premiums due, and other services that they may require on their loan accounts. We also offer services such as account restructuring, part payment of principal balances, and final payoffs. We also give them updates on their title registration. So, in a nutshell, the Home Loans Client Service team is like a one-stop shop for the Ghanaian homeowner. Thank you. I believe you are enjoying the housing fair so far. My name is Edward Nyako with the Strategic Initiative Unit. What we do within the Strategic Initiative Unit is to drive our mortgage business through initiatives. Some of the key initiatives we are currently running is developing the right properties at the right price and also growing CD mortgages. We also are seeking to drive green developments and green mortgages. Now, by developing the right properties at the right price, we are working with selected developers to identify good sites, define um, good designs, the right price, get access to funding throughout to marketing and sale. The whole idea of this objective is to make sure that we have ready properties on the market for clients to be able to take mortgages. We're currently partnering government to offer mortgages to public and civil servants. And if you're a public or civil servant, we'll be happy for you to talk to us to be able to join this scheme. What we're also doing with the Strategic Initiative Unit is to drive green development and green mortgages. By that, I mean that if you have an existing property that is about five or six years old, you are, we are happy to assess you loans to be able to improve on your property. As a bank that operates within the built environment space, our aim is to drive green development and mortgages. With the green mortgages, what we are encouraging our clients to do, or people who own properties to do, is to assess our home improvement loan, to be able to provide solar, change your light fittings to LED, buy taps that are water efficient. With this, our aim is to help you to have buildings that are environmentally friendly. With this approach, we believe that we'll all be contributing to the sustainability of our environment to help us to live for better generations forward. So we look forward to hearing from you as we all go green to make Ghana a better place for us to live in. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Marina Fisu with the Home Loans Business Development Unit. Transitioning through Ghana Home Loans, GHL Bank, and now to First National Bank, it's been 14 years plus of experience in the mortgage industry and real estate sector. Who better to deal with than us? As a business development unit, we aim at fostering a relationship with all real estate developers countrywide. Wherever you are, we want to find you and do business with you. We undertake side visits to various project sites. We partner you on marketing opportunities, which would be mutually beneficial. We partner you on road shows throughout the country. And we want to be found at any open house event you organize at your various project sites. So if you're a developer, contact us. If we haven't found you, please find us. We want to do business together. Our numbers are displayed at the bottom of the screen. We would also want you to contact us to pay a visit to your project site. We want to know what you have available. You can send customers our way and we can send customers your way. Also, we would like you so refer your cash customers to us. If they've opted to pay in installments, why don't you let us handle that? So you do the building. Are you a head of human resources looking for real estate opportunities for your staff? Contact us. We'll willingly come in, educate them on real estate and on mortgages. Are you an organized group or a society that's looking at educating your members about real estate, about financing opportunities when it comes to real estate, Contact us. Our numbers are displayed at the bottom of the screen. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. And this is how we end the First National Bank Housing Fair, your most informative platform for all housing issues in Ghana. This event will be made available on all our social media handles for your viewing pleasure on demand. 
let me say warm and sincere thanks to all our developers, to all our resource persons, the management and staff of First National Bank, and to you, our cherished clients and viewers. We couldn't have done this without you. Until same time next year, when we come to you with yet another edition of the First National Bank Housing Fair, my name is Jerry Ajololo, and from all of us at First National Bank, we say, how can we help you? <laughs>